Right now, there are just 10 days to go before Election Day. And as Katira mentioned, Texas looks more like a battleground state with both presidential candidates holding events yesterday. Vice President Kamala Harris packed Shell Energy Stadium in Houston with supporters and some big name celebrities. On the road again. Can't wait to get on the road again. Of course, that's none other than Willie Nelson performing. Meanwhile, the rally was largely focused on women's access to abortions. Speaking out in support was Houston's own superstar, Beyonce. I'm not here as a celebrity. I'm not here as a politician. I'm here as a mother. A mother who cares deeply about the world my children and all of our children live in. Some supporters say they're disappointed they didn't get to see Beyonce perform, but Harris took the stage at that point, focusing on abortion rights. We are 11 days out from an election that will decide the future of America, including the freedom of every woman to make decisions about her own body and her reproductive freedom. At one point, protesters started chanting in the crowd, but security quickly escorted them out. The Harris campaign says there were about 30,000 people there, the largest rally for Harris yet. On the other side of the ticket, former President Donald Trump was in Austin, where he recorded a podcast episode with Joe Rogan. Before that, he held an event for media and invited guests at the hangar near Austin's airport. The focus was illegal immigration. It's a major issue. Republicans have been attacking the Biden administration on this election season. Trump spent a lot of time talking about crimes committed by migrants, placing the blame on VP Harris. A special guest was the mother of Jocelyn Nungarai, the 12 year old girl killed here in Houston, allegedly by two men who crossed the border illegally. If elected, Trump promised the largest deportation in American history the day he takes office. And we'll put these vicious and bloodthirsty criminals in jail or kick them the hell out of our country and we'll get them out. Ideally, we want to get them out because we don't want to have to pay for their room and board for the next 50 years, right? Senator Ted Cruz, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, and Attorney General Ken Paxton also attended. Trump did not take questions from reporters. 